All right, so here's the third example I'm going to do, uh, writing a quadratic function in standard form or vertex form. Uh, so what we're going to what we're going to have is we're going to have a function, a quadratic function in this form, and we want to convert it to standard form. Okay, I've got three examples. Uh, each example has its own video. Uh, check, I would check them all out. This is the third video. Uh, these are the problems that I've worked that I that I'll have videos on. This is the first video. This one's the second video, and this one's this video, the third one, example three. Uh, they should be right there by each other. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we want to convert this to standard form. So what we're going to do is we're going to take f of x equals negative x squared plus 3x and what I want to do is I want to group these first two terms together and put the constant term out here by itself and what I'm gonna do is complete the square okay I'm gonna complete the square on it but remember in order to complete the square I have to have a 1 in front of my squared term well what do I have I have a negative 1 so I need to factor that out. I need to factor a negative one out. So that's going to give me f of x equals negative x squared minus 3x, and leave a little space here, plus 5. Okay. All right, so now what we do is we take the number in front of x and we half it. So we half the 3. So half of 3, that would give me 3 over 2 and then I square it. And so 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4. And so I add the 9 force. Okay. And since I added the 9 force in here, okay, if you watch the other two videos, you notice when we added it here, we came out here and subtracted it. Okay. But I'm going to add the 9 force. Okay, so now, now you're wondering, you may be wondering why, okay, well, in the other two videos I watched, you added and then you came out here and subtracted. But look at this. Really, you see this? Negative 1 times 9 fourths. So it's, it's, it's like I'm subtracting 9 fourths. So that means I have to come out here and add 9 fourths. Okay? So if we distribute the negative, that's negative 9 fourths. Negative 9 fourths plus 9 fourths is 0. And that's what we're trying to get. Okay. So, so when you look at this, you say, okay, well, since I added the 9 fourths, yeah, you subtract 9 fourths. But really, it's negative 9 fourths. So that means I have to add it. Okay, I hope that makes sense. All right, so now, and I, I showed this in the other videos, this, this factors, okay? So this is in the form x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. That's a perfect square, square trinomial. That's what happens when we complete the square. We make this in this form, a perfect square trinomial. And that factors into this. The square root of this is this term. The square root of this is this term. And this sign goes here. Okay. So we've got f of x equals, there's our negative sign. And then remember, that's going to factor into this. So the square root of this term is x, this sign. And then the square root of 9 fourths is 3 halves. Okay. And then that's going to be plus 29 over 4. And hopefully you see how I get that. I'll show you. Uh, I'll come here and do it. 5 plus 9 fourths. Okay. That's over 1. So I get a common denominator. 
of 4. Okay, So I have to multiply 4 to this 1 to get my common denominator. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then that's going to stay at 9. And so we get 29 over 4. And so this is our final answer. Okay, Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I hope the video helped. Check out, check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.